Day 10 update. Today was um, a mix of things. Some improving symptoms, some worsening symptoms, some new symptoms. It got started to get a little bit of swelling around the eyes. It's a little better now, but in the morning it was not as better. Um, and that was a new thing, and I think my doctor said that it was likely uh, side effects of the prednisone. Um, also, I may be wrong, but I, when I was you know, the shower day, I thought my hair looked a little less. Um, so that must be a thing in my imagination, or that could possibly be another prednisone side effect. Um, and the morning was a little rough. It was a lot of rough. I woke up like in tons of pain in most parts of my body. So I couldn't really move my neck. I couldn't move my shoulders. Um, it probably took me like 10 minutes to get out of bed. Um, yeah, it was really, it was really painful. It was also, and it was difficult, um, of, difficult for my mom, I could tell, um, because she had, uh, some early clients in the morning, and so I could tell it was difficult for her, because I was, like, just crying in pain, and I was trying not to, because I know she was, had to go to work, and so I didn't want to, um, have her leave feeling stressed, um, but then it was like so much pain that just, it just came out. Um, so I could tell that was difficult for her and difficult for me to, um, to be in pain and to see her see me be in pain. And then knowing that she knew that in that moment she couldn't help. Um, and, you know, cause you know, what can you do if I'm in, if someone's in pain and you can't alleviate it? Um, so that was a little difficult, but then as the day went on, on um still like stiffness and stuff but my mobility totally came back and it was actually like a solid walking day i only used my crutches like once i was able to walk around um it was painful walking around but i was still able to do it which was a huge improvement oh <sighs> it was like the first day where i got to shower without a stool because i was able to stand and it was like uncomfortable but still pretty cool um, yeah, and my energy was actually, like, maybe a little low, but pretty consistent, so that was really cool. Um, yeah, so today was, like, a few steps back and a few steps forward, and when I was in the morning having, like, difficulty moving and stuff, um, this helped me, because it says breathe, and so I definitely took a whole bunch of deep breaths, and that was helpful. Um, yeah, and then I was just thinking about uh, other things I'm grateful for. Because, you know, work, doing my work from home. And, um, something really cool happened um, at work with an article I wrote. I don't think I could share it publicly yet, but as soon as I can, I will. Because I was super grateful for that. Um... And then I was also just looking like I'm I was starting to do research for a potential feature article, all right, um, about, um, well, it's re somewhat related, related trauma and related to ACEs, which is adverse um, childhood experiences. And I don't have, there's no set angle for the article yet, but maybe looking at trauma-informed spaces, you look at schools. Um, but it's really cool researching that. It's like a pretty heavy thing. But to know that if I do end up writing an article about that, um, it'll be pretty cool, like, and impactful. Um, and I was also looking at some other things, like, um, I mean, yeah, well, anyways, so that was just cool. I was just enjoying my work, and, um, yeah, I just felt grateful for my work, and so that was pretty cool. So that's the end of today. Um, today was a late day. Oh, but also cool family surprises again. Yay, family surprises. Um, yeah, and that is it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.